What's up guys, Young SG here back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over my code rating process. When I want to code raid, how I code raid, uh, you know, the how I choose what codes I guess, and things like that. I do want to go over a few things before I get into that though. Uh, first off, I want to go ahead and say I do apologize for not uploading as much as I want to. Um, I would be uploading at least three videos a week if I, my internet would allow it, but my current internet is just so bad. If I try uploading even a 10 minute video, it would take hours. Not to mention my internet would go out multiple times during the process, and it's just not a viable way right now. I just can't upload right now like I want to. So once I get Starlink, I'll be live streaming daily, uploading daily, and I'll be going full on content creation. But until then, I'll just do an occasional video like this. And then another thing I want to address is that in my code rating video, I had a lot of comments being like, this is obviously stage. Why did you enter the code on the first door? And then on every door after that, you just knew it was 5555. Five, five, five. When I was guessing the codes, I was using my mouse. You know, I was using my mouse to just show that I was guessing the codes. So you could see that I was entering different codes. And then once I guessed the code, I wanted to be quick. I didn't want anyone to interrupt the raid. I didn't want, you know, to take too long and then the owner of the base come back, change the codes or anything like that. So I started using my keypad. And when you use the number pad on your keyboard, your mouse, the cursor, still stays in the middle of the screen on 5555. So even though it showed that I was using 5555, I actually wasn't. So I just wanted to address that and then I want to go ahead and say that I got this video idea from this comment right here. I'll put it up on screen so shout out to him for recommending me to do this video. And now let's go ahead and get into the process of how I code raid. Alright, and then I also want to go ahead and say that my process isn't some complex, like, easy way to guess codes. Um, it's still very, very unlikely to guess a code. The odds of guessing a code don't change based off of anything. Um, it's still a 1 in 10,000 chance of guessing a code. And I personally, I'll just go ahead and say how I do it. I find a base, step one, find a base that I want to code raid. All right, once I find a base that I actually want to code raid, I put bags around that base. I put as many bags as I can because the more bags you have around that base, the you know quicker you get to guess codes, obviously. And then while I'm dead or waiting for those bag timers, I'll just run around guessing random bases codes, entering random codes, just hoping I get lucky. Lucky, And it's actually happened plenty of times. I've guessed probably a total of 10 base codes so far, um, and I don't really try to guess codes that often. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the main part of the video, how I actually guess the codes, how I decide what codes to enter. Um, so I use a this website. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description and comment section. And basically, it's literally made for this. It's a not a random code generator. It's 10,000 codes in the order of how common they are. So if you enter the first 100 codes, you have about a 10% chance of guessing it correct, which is better than just guessing them randomly. Um, but again, it's still not guaranteed. Um, but the way I guess codes is I'll either go off this list, the top, you know, I'll go in order of how common codes are, or I will go in like patterns. So L shapes on your number pad are very common as well. So for example, I'll put it on screen, uh, 7896, that's an L1236. 1256, 1258, 7452, all of those, if you're looking at your number pad, just like the move your finger on your number pad to where all the numbers connect. And basically those are super common codes as well. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'll go ahead and link the top like thousand common codes in order of how common they are um, that I use. And then I'll also link the website that I use that is also very helpful. It'll show you um, there's like a 10 second timer so when you click next to the next code there'll be a 10 second timer and that 10 seconds is how long you have to wait before you take the minimum amount of damage when code rating so it's a very helpful code rating tool that I use other than that there's nothing much else to it except the luck just trying to guess the right code put bags around the base that you want to guess and hoping they're offline that you get lucky um, but I did think that this video was enough to highlight this tool that I use to guess codes and I personally think that it will help a lot of you as well again it's all luck you know you you could guess 9,000 codes and still not code raid the base if their code is just one of the thousand that you didn't guess um, so again there's nothing guaranteed 
and if you were expecting some sort of like better process I apologize um, but this is just how I personally guess codes I find a base put bags down and then I use the tool linked in the description and comment section to guess the code and then also you can open it on your phone as well which is what I would prefer to do so you don't have to keep tabbing out between uh, code guesses. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a nice short video of how I guess codes and then addressing some of the hate from the previous code raid videos. And that's about it. I didn't manage to raid the example base in the video um, just because I didn't want to commit that much time to it. It takes time to do these. Again, if you have multiple people, then it goes quicker. If you have more bags, it goes quicker. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video.